Hi, welcome to our brand new Microsoft Azure Fundamental AZ900 Practice Questions 2022. In this video, we are going to discuss all the dummy questions of the Microsoft AZ900 exam. I am your host Neetu Rai from UpDegree. And let's get started. Question 1. Which feature of Azure AD allows you to restrict access to a resource based on the geographical location of the user? Now, the options are Option A. Directory roles Option B. Privileged identity management Option C. Role-based access control Option D. Conditional access And the correct answer is Option D. Conditional access Explanation Conditional access allowed administrators to create rules around who is and is not allowed access to a resource based on a number of available signals. Question 2. Your company has a set of virtual machines configured in Azure. The company management asked you to explore the options to cut down VM running cost. Which of the following options would you consider for cutting down the VM running cost? Select three options. Now, the options are Option A. Replace the VM with reserved instances. Option B. Reduce the size of the virtual machines. Option C. Change reason the virtual machine is located in. Option D. Change the data center the virtual machine is located in. Option E. Deallocate the public IP address from the virtual machine. And the correct answer is Option A. Replace the VM with reserved instances. Option B. Reduce the size of the virtual machines. Option C. Change reason the virtual machine is located in. Explanation. Option A is correct. You can consider buying reserved instances to get discounts on the virtual machine's running cost. Option B is correct. Right VM sizing will help to reduce the cost. Option C is correct. Reasons where the VM is deployed will impact the pricing. Option D and E are incorrect. Data center and public IP address will not impact the pricing. Question 3. What software using an intuitive interface can be downloaded for Windows, Mac OS or Linux that helps you manage your Azure cloud storage resources from your desktop? Now, the options are Option A. Azure Storage Explorer Option B. Azure Portal Option C. Azure File Sync Option D. Azure Data Box and the correct answer is option A, Azure Storage Explorer. Explanation Azure Storage Explorer can help you upload, download, and manage Azure storage blobs, files, queues, and tables, as well as Azure Data Lake storage entities and Azure Managed Disk. Configure storage permissions and access controls, tiers and rules. Question 4. A company deployed an application on Azure. Now, they want to implement disaster recovery for the application. Which of the following aspects of Azure could be used for disaster recovery purposes? Now, the options are Option A. Azure Data Centers Option B. Azure Resource Groups Option C. Azure Subscriptions Option D. Azure Reasons And the correct answer is Option D. Azure Reasons Explanation You can deploy your resources across multiple reasons. In an event of a disaster and one reason goes down, you will still have the other reason available. Option A is incorrect. Data centers are pertinent to just a reason and can't be used for disaster recovery purposes. Option B is incorrect. Azure resource groups are used to logically group resources. Option C is incorrect. Azure subscriptions are used for billing purposes. 
Question 5. How do you invite a person who is not an employee of your company to use one of your applications protected by Azure Active Directory? Now, the options are Option A. Invite them as a guest user. Option B. Azure AD conditional access. Option C. Add them as a user. Option D. External users cannot be managed by Azure Active Directory. And the correct answer is Option A. Invite them as a guest user. Explanation With Azure AD B2B collaboration, you can invite anyone to collaborate with your organization using their own work, school or social account. Question 6. Select yes or no for the following statement. A company is planning to deploy an application on a set of Azure virtual machines. They have set up an Azure subscription and an Azure AD tenant. Would the addition of an Azure load balancer to the application architecture increase its overall availability? Now, the options are Option A Yes Option B No And the correct answer is Option A Yes Explanation With the Azure Load Balancer, you can increase the overall availability of your applications. Question 7 what are the resource groups? Now, the options are Option A. Automatically assign groups of resources that all have the same type. Option B. A folder structure in Azure in which you organize resources like databases, virtual machines, virtual networks or almost any resource. Option C. Within Azure security model, users are organized into groups and then those groups are granted permissions to resources. Option D. Based on the tag assigned to a resource by the deployment script, it is assigned to a group. And the correct answer is Option B. A folder structure in Azure in which you organize resources like databases, virtual machines, virtual networks or almost any resource. Explanation. Resource groups. A folder structure in Azure in which you organize resources like databases, virtual machines, virtual networks or almost any resource. Question 8. Which of the following services allows events generated by Azure resources to be sent to applications? Now, the options are Option A. Azure Event Grid Option B. Azure Notification Hubs Option C. Azure Event Hubs Option D. Azure Logic Apps And the correct answer is Option A. Azure Event Grid Explanation Azure Event Grid is the right service for this requirement. Azure Event Grid is a complete event routing service actively running on top of the Azure service fabric. Event Grid issues events from various services like Azure Storage Blobs to different handlers like Azure Functions. Azure Event Grid was invented to build event-based and serverless applications on Azure at an ease. Question 9. Ping per GB for an unmanaged storage account is an example of what type of cloud pricing model? Now, the options are Option A. Spot pricing. Option B. Consumption model. Option C. Reservations. Option D. Hybrid benefit. And the correct answer is Option B. Consumption model. Explanation. In the consumption model, you are charged for only what you use. For an unmanaged storage account, you pay per GB used. You can save money by deleting files. Question 10. You are planning to implement Azure multi-factor authentication. Which of the following is the recommended policy? Now, the options are Option A. Enable per user. Option B. Enable per session. Option C. Enable conditional access. Option D. Enable security defaults. And 
The correct answer is option C. Enable conditional access. Explanation To secure user sign in events in Azure AD, you can require multi factor authentication. Enabling Azure AD multi factor authentication using conditional access policies is the recommended approach to protect users. Conditional access is an Azure AD Premium P1 or P2 feature that lets you apply rules to require MFA as needed in certain scenarios. Option A is incorrect as it is not advised per user. Also, it would be time consuming and difficult to maintain for a large number of users. Option B is incorrect because the session is per user login and policy is not applied to a user session. Option D is incorrect because it is applicable for a free tier by default. Question 11. True or false? Azure Tenant is a dedicated and trusted instance of Azure Active Directory that's automatically created when your organization signs up for a Microsoft Cloud Service subscription. Now, the options are Option A. False Option B. True And the correct answer is Option B. True Explanation Yes, Azure Tenant is a dedicated and trusted instance of Azure AD that's automatically created when your organization signs up for a Microsoft Cloud Service subscription. Question 12 You want to deploy a virtual machine scale set to Azure. Could you deploy the scale set using the Azure command line interface? Now, the options are Option A, yes. Option B, no. And the correct answer is Option A, yes. Explanation. A virtual machine scale set allows you to deploy and manage a set of auto-scaling virtual machines. You can scale the number of VMS in the scale set manually or define rules to auto-scale based on resource uses like CPU, memory demand or network traffic. An Azure load balancer then distributes traffic to the VM instances in the scale set. In this quick start, you create a virtual machine skill set and deploy a sample application with the Azure CLI. Question 13. What is the most common and recommended type of storage account? Now, the options are Option A. Premium block blobs Option B. Standard general purpose V1 Option C. Premium page blobs Option D. General purpose V2 and the correct answer is option D, general purpose V2. Explanation General purpose V2 is the standard storage account type for blobs, file shares, queues, and tables. Recommended for most scenarios using Azure storage. Question 14. Select yes or no for the following statement. Azure Synapse Analytics can be used to visualize the data in the warehouse with Power BI. Now, the options are Option A, Yes, Option B, No. And the correct answer is Option A, Yes. Explanation Yes, Synapse can be leveraged to visualize the data. Azure Synapse Analytics is a limitless analytics service that brings together data integration, enterprise data warehousing, and Big Data Analytics. It gives you the freedom to query data on your terms using either serverless or dedicated options at scale. Azure Synapse brings these worlds together with a unified experience to ingest, explore, prepare, transform, manage and serve data for immediate BI and machine learning needs. Question 15 when deploying a virtual machine into an availability set, how does Azure treat that VM differently? Now, the options are Option A. It will auto-scale the VM, adding and removing instances as demand increases and decreases. Option B. It will place the VM on a physically separate server and roll out Azure updates to it 
in a staggered manner. Option C. It will place the VM on the same physical server as the other VMS in the set. Option D. It will place the VM in another data center as other VMS in the set. And the correct answer is Option B. It will place the VM on a physically separate server and roll out Azure updates to it in a staggered manner. Explanation An availability set is a logical grouping of VMS that allows Azure to understand how your application is built to provide for redundancy and availability. Each virtual machine in your availability set is assigned an update domain and a fault. Domain by the underlying Azure platform. Fault domains define the group of virtual machines that share a common power source and network switch. By default, the virtual machines configured within your availability set are separated across up to three fault domains. While placing your virtual machines into an availability set does not protect your application from operating system or application specific failures. It does limit the impact of potential physical hardware failures, network outages or power interruptions. Thank you for watching this video. Please do not forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Buy our AZ 900 premium questions with 50% off. Check link in the description.